Today we're going to take a look at a distribution I haven't looked at in quite a while, but definitely it has made uh, some major jumps in leaps and bounds of overall performance, look, and that would be Big Linux. Now, Big Linux is a Manjaro derivative. I think it's more stable than Manjaro and just a better feel when I use it. Now, when you download it, it's like three and a half gigabytes. So it's a little bigger than some of the distributions you are going to download, but it does come packed with a lot of great things. Now, if you go over to their website, which is biglinux.com, got a brand new website look. Uh, if you guys remember, the older website was a little bit more cluttered. This is a lot more clean looking. It just tells you Big Linux is the right choice for you. Uh, it can solve your needs, whatever needs you might have. It even works without installing, which is not saying much. Most Linux distros will run right off a of USB. Talks about office programs, web apps, something that really Linux Mint a couple of years ago made real popular, and all the other uh, Linux seem to be falling in line with what Linux Mint did, where you can just have web apps right on your desktop. Uh, online conversations, it's got a built-in microphone noise filter, so it makes your conversations better online. Gaming comes optimized uh, and automations to facilitate game installations with Lutris and Steam, uh, remote access, restore points, thousands of programs, more space for your files, uh, integration with your smartphone, impressive performance, it's free, always updated. So, I mean, really, uh, what, here's the thing. I like the 29 languages. That helps out a lot of people because a lot of distributions do come without certain languages on them, and you got to download them. But this one, you kind of just make that choice at the beginning, and then you're good to go. Uh, you can run Android apps with a simplified installation of Wagerroid. Uh, you can use programs that are made for Android on Big Linux. You can convert, resize, Multiple desktop configurations. When you first boot into it, it'll ask you what layout you want, and you just pick it. I think I chose the modern layout, uh, but there's six to choose from. Uh, use your skills and be a part of the big Linux community if you want to. And then, of course, right down here, it's got the supporters, CDN77, Cloudflare, Lingo Hub, Nimbus, and then some volunteers that are listed. But I'll go ahead and put the website link in the description below, so that way if you're interested in Big Linux, you can zip over and take a look at it. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that now, and when you download it, this is the screen you're met with. Now, if you right-click it, uh, you can configure your desktop and wallpaper. Not sure in a live mode how many we're actually going to get. Okay, so you do get quite a few different wallpapers here, it seems. Uh, looks like they got a standard themes of bunnies. I kind of like the one it comes with out of the box. You got the bunny with the umbrella. Oh, it looks like you got wobbly windows. Okay, that's pretty cool because I use that on Garuda still. There's a duck, another rabbit. So you get quite a few. And these are kind of cute looking, actually. Let's go ahead and change to that. What is that? Okay, so that's a kitty cat. So you have a lot to choose from right there. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. So let's go ahead and apply. I want to keep that background. The cat that looks like he's leading the band or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe he's performing. Is he Romeo and Juliet right there? Who knows? Uh, we saw it comes with the Brave browser. You've got the Dolphin file manager. I double-clicked on that. Sorry about that. Uh, Dolphin, pretty self-explanatory. Most of you guys have seen me cover it before in previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and make that large because I like the real icons. I like sometimes having just the outlines, but I like having those real icons. And I do like the overall theme here. It's really crisp. It's clean. Uh, it looks good, and everybody knows about Dolphin. It's real easy to use, lets you get your work done, stays out of your way. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then down here, what do we have? Let's go ahead and open that up. That's right here is your calculator. So that's on your dock. Uh, what do we got here? Let's open that up. So you got LibreOffice. So the Office suite they were talking about that was on their website is LibreOffice. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Release notes, 7.6. Help make Libre better, donate. And if we go over here to about LibreOffice, it comes with 7.6.2.1. So that's the most up-to-date version of LibreOffice. Now, I have talked to people and said they're doing their updates and stuff like this. I haven't ran this as a daily driver yet, and I really need to. But I'm really hooked on Garuda right now, so it's hard to jump from Garuda to something else. But it's time for me to pick something else. But if you would like to see me daily drive Big Linux, drop that in the comments below. So what do we got right here? Let's go ahead and open that up. Okay, so there's Kate. That's your text editor. 
but I really do like the icon set. Now, I do want to open up Control Center. Let's go ahead and open that up so I can show you what we got in there. And Control Center opens up. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen because I really like this. And I think a lot of Linux distributions are doing something like this. Like you've got MX for years. has had the MX tools and really gives you a lot of power over your system. Now, right here up at the top, you got themes, desktops, and settings. You can go in here and click open on that. And this is where right here it gives you the option of what kind of theme you want. I went with the big Linux dark. Of course, you can go with whatever you want to. You've got Fluent Dark, so you got, what, two, four, six, eight themes out of the box. It's KDE. It's not that hard to download other themes that you want to use, but I like that it gives you a choice right out of the box, especially if you're somebody that's new to Linux and you're not familiar with downloading themes and really customizing the way you look. It kind of gives you a, a, a little bit of footing there to kind of adjust it a little bit until you feel real comfortable and want to start, start downloading your own themes. Then you can go to desktop. You've got a classic. You've got KUnity. You've got new. You've got next gen. And you've got modern and desk X. Uh, Desk X, I'm going to say, probably looks a little bit like Mac OS X. I could be wrong or right. If you disagree, throw it in the comments below. I'm using the modern theme, so let's go ahead and close out of that. You got your system and hardware information right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. And I don't need a password to generate a more complete report, so we'll just see what we got here. I think I've got 4 gigs of RAM issued to it and a couple CPUs. I like running it on a little lower end so you can kind of see what it's going to do on your hardware. What I'm going to do right here is you can install or remove drivers right here. I love that. You can generate a report which will create a file of information that can be published on the internet if you're having issues. Systems installed on a partition, partition size. Kernel that is presently using is 6.1.55-1 Manjaro. So it is using the Manjaro kernel. So what I want to do now is that was our main window. You can go over here, you can look at your processor if you want to, video card, motherboard, memory, audio system, uh, temperature. If you come over here, there's no sensor data found using sysclass. So that would be something that once you installed it and probably did a full update, that would, that would be taken care of. But if not, I'm sure there's steps that you can go through to download the proper software you need for that. Storage, Bluetooth, and then more information. But this control center right here is going to make things a lot easier for simple things. Add and remove users, install drivers and firmware, install a different kernel, uh, introduction to Big Linux, uh, monitor, screen, sound, microphone, snapshots and backups, snap drop, no app required, restore installed system and printers. And then over here, you've got a plethora of different things over here. You got your phone, you got customize, you can click on customize and you can change things everywhere from application style and auto start all the way down to window decorations and window behavior. Now, I know a lot of this is already included in the KDE settings app, but it's real nice to have a control center on your desktop where you can just click on it and go do what you need to do. Like I said, if you're somebody that's new to Linux or maybe you've been in Linux for a while, but you're just now coming over to check out an Arch spinoff or an Arch-based uh, distro, and you're new at that, this is going to help you quite a bit. And then, of course, you can set your phone up, AirDroid, Android application support, connect to the Internet, KDE Connect, SnapDrop, uh, Customize, uh, Regional, Multimedia Accounts, so we've got a few of the same ones here. So what I'm going to do is close out of that. But I do, t I do say that if you download Big Linux and want to take a comprehensive look at it, definitely check out the Control Center. Uh, I think it's a great tool, and it's something that a lot of other Linux distributions should be using. That's my personal opinion. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to open the application launcher. And first thing I want to see is do we just put in Add and Remove to see what kind of software Add and remove web apps, add and remove software. So there's your add and remove software right there. Let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it's running PayMac just like Manjaro does. Now, the first thing I want to check out is let's see if they have preferences. There it is right there. Let's open that up. Uh, advanced, third party. You can enable. It's already enabled. AUR support is enabled out of the box. Now, we go back to general, check for updates, automatically download updates, parallel downloads. Now, the first thing I would do before you started installing anything on this system is refresh your mirrors and do it worldwide. If you pick somewhere that's close to your vicinity in the world, my experience is if I leave it on worldwide and I refresh the mirrors, my downloads go much quicker than if I pick somewhere close to me. Don't ask me why, but that's the way it works for me. 
So I'm going to close out of that. So you've got PayMac to add and remove software. So let's close out of that. Let's go back down to the app launcher. And now I want to go up here. Let's go add, uh, add and remove web apps. Let's go ahead and open that up. No web app added. So I guess you could just come over here and click add URL. Let's just go YouTube. Come down here and we'll just put YouTube in. And let's detect name and icon. See if it goes ahead and gives us an icon. Let's go ahead and pick that icon and add. See how long that takes. It has been successfully added, so let's close. Now, it's been added in our web apps manager. Now, let's go over here and let's see if YouTube is over here. There it is right there. So let's go ahead and open that up. And it should open up in its own little app look. Okay. Yes, it's going to open in a web wrapper through the Brave, Brave browser, but that's pretty simple. So that's a way for you to add shortcuts pretty much to a lot of the sites you're already using. So that's pretty easy, pretty simple. Let's go back down here to the application launcher. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this. I've had people in the past tell me, why do you do that? Why do you go through every little thing? Because it's just the Linux distribution. I understand that, but I also like to let people know what they're getting out of the box. So here you've got games. You've got a couple K games, Lutra, Steam, uh, Gwynview for your pictures, Qubit Torrent out of the box, Brave Browser, Reduce Microphone Noise, Simple Screen Recorder, BLC, LibreOffice we've already covered, Add and Remove Software we've looked at. You've got the big store. Let's go ahead and check that out. That's another thing I wanted to point out is they have their own store. So if you wanted to come over here and install something up here, let's say you wanted to install something like GIMP. Let's go ahead and put in GIMP. Hit enter. It should bring up GIMP real quick. It's right there. And it lets you know what version. That's your help files for GIMP. Create images and edit photographs. You could install it from there. Now, I did see somebody had put photo GIMP. Let's see if they actually have photo GIMP. I doubt they do, but let's see. It's searching the AUR. What photo GIMP is, guys, is somebody's taking GIMP and kind of... Uh, added layers on it and added different things in it to make it act more like Photoshop. So that's just, I saw it pop up. I wanted to see if they had it. Let's see if they have Caden Live. Well, they have Caden Live. Let's just see what it brings up for Caden Live. So there's Caden Live right here. Now, if I hit install right there, what does it bring up? And that would be pretty simple. You just hit the green button, install, and you're good to go. So that's definitely something to check it out. It's going to make things installing a lot easier. Let's go back over here. System, KSysGuard, Dolphin, Console, Utilities. So that's pretty simple. Web Apps Google. You've got already got Web Apps for Google already installed on here. Now, my personal opinion is, is if you're somebody that doesn't like Google, get rid of it, uh, uninstall it, make it go bye-bye. That's up to you. If you're somebody that relies on Google Apps and you need them for work or for personal, keep them on there. That's totally up to you. I always tell everybody, use what makes your job easier. Now, what I want to see over here, let's click on that. So that will go full screen and back down. So you've got a little bit of uh, flexibility there. So that's a quick look at Big Linux. Uh, if you're somebody that is uh, new to the arch world or want to try something other than Manjaro or something that's uh, a little bit shinier than some of the distros you've been using, Hey, man, zip on over, download Big Linux, take it for a test drive. Pretty sure you'll be happy, and I'm pretty sure you'll like it. If you enjoyed the videos, please like. Leave a comment below. And if you didn't, hey, throw me a comment down there, too, and let me know what you didn't like about it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.